Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the latest legal drama surrounding Rudy Giuliani, the former mayor of New York City and one of Donald Trump's closest advisors. According to a recent court document filed on Friday, creditors are seeking to force Giuliani to sell his $3.5 million Florida condo to help settle his significant debts, adding yet another layer to his ongoing financial troubles. Stick around as we unpack the details and implications of this latest development. Rudy Giuliani's financial woes began when he filed for bankruptcy protection in December, citing a multitude of unpaid debts, including a hefty $148 million payment to two Georgia election poll workers. These workers were falsely accused by Giuliani of tampering with the 20-20 election ballots during his time as a lawyer for former President Donald Trump. In response to Friday's filing by creditors, Giuliani's counsel argued that the request to sell the Florida condo is premature, stating that the case is still in its early stages. Giuliani maintains that he lacks the funds to settle his debts, with his primary income reportedly coming from Social Security payments and his individual retirement account. However, despite claiming financial hardship, Giuliani's spending habits have come under scrutiny. According to the court document, he spends tens of thousands of dollars monthly to maintain his Florida condo and has accrued significant credit card debt, including over $2,600 in January alone on various subscriptions and services. Creditors view Giuliani's real estate assets as fair game for recouping what is owed to them. While his primary residence in New York City is exempt from liquidation, his Florida condo is being targeted for sale since he spends a considerable amount of time there. Despite his financial troubles, Giuliani is in the process of selling his Manhattan apartment and intends to relocate to his Florida residence full-time, which could potentially lead to a greater distribution of proceeds to creditors. Moreover, creditors have demanded that Giuliani secure homeowners' insurance for his Florida and New York City residences, considering them his most valuable assets. However, Giuliani claims he cannot afford the insurance, further complicating the situation. In summary, Rudy Giuliani finds himself in a precarious financial position, with creditors seeking to force the sale of his Florida condo to settle his significant debts. His legal troubles stemming from his involvement in attempting to overturn the 2020 election results have only exacerbated his financial woes, landing him in bankruptcy court. As we await further developments in this unfolding saga, we encourage you to stay informed and engaged. What are your thoughts on Giuliani's financial predicament? Do you believe creditors are justified in seeking to force the sale of his assets? Let us know your opinions in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on this and other trending topics. Until next time, take care, and stay tuned for our next video. Thank you for watching.